Hey guys, so we're going to talk about a program Oscar's been in a little bit, and I'm going to give you a little bit of feedback if you were thinking about where, if you wanted to get a training class and which training class to get. Um, I recommend the one we took her to was a PetSmart. Um, it's got multiple levels, you know, I think they go up three levels, going up from the basics, just sit down, stay. Um, all the way through um, considerably more difficult stuff, getting you ready for uh, major tests that can allow you to take your dogs to different places, in, at least in Washington State. So it's a, it's a nice um, setup. Uh, they also have grooming. Um, the class uh, usually costs in the hundreds of dollars, which is kind of a little pricey uh, if you ask me. But having said that, um, it really helps out with the training and uh, socialization. Uh, especially for dogs when they're younger. Um, I definitely recommend uh, taking your, if you have a new puppy, to one of these classes, if not PetSmart, some other place, because of the amount of socialization. Basically, that's what you really want to get out, and that basically brings a bunch of people with other puppies that are, you know, new to their surroundings and people together, and uh, you you get to teach them training together. Now, Oscar is kind of an easier dog to train because she's a German Shepherd, uh, but if you've got a kind of a more difficult dog to train, like um, I don't know, uh, I guess pit bulls are supposed to be a little bit harder to train, but um, you know they're not supposed to be that much harder. Uh, but yeah, there's dogs that are considerably uh, harder to train, uh, train like uh, Chos. I think they're Cho Chos. I'm not sure. I might be slaughtering their name. Anyway, they're supposed to be really hard to train in. If you take them to these classes, usually the person who's leading the class has a good knowledge on to how to uh, get them to, you know, basic training like sit, stay, lay down, shake hands, don't poop, <laughs> you know, real basic stuff, uh, come. Um, so, yeah, um, I definitely recommend the first class. Now, if you're not going to try to get some special license, uh, I don't know if I go for the second class, because the second class doesn't really get you there anyway, and it costs a lot of money, you know. I don't know if I would have thrown down, but Asuka is, is easily trainable, so we threw down for that. And um, now we're on our third class, well actually uh, fourth, because we took the first class twice at the same time, but that's, that's not because um, we signed up for one group. And they only have one other dog, and we want to get more socialization, so they allowed us to do another group on, on that same level, but um, with more dogs. That you know, it's like Monday there was one, Tuesday there were like eight, but we signed up for Monday, and they let us come Tuesday. If the, is any of this making sense? I'm kind of just going off on a random thing. Anyway, uh, so she so she's been to a few of these classes, and I say I, I would say that it's definitely a good thing. to do if your dogs if you've got the money and the time to put in. Um, even if you don't have that much time, um, if you can just do the first class session, which, you know, they usually go about a month and a half to two months, depending on, uh, you know, how often you show up, once a week. So, um, you know, you can figure out how many times that is. It's like eight times, roughly. Um, sometimes 12. It depends. I think one of the classes was a little bit longer than the other one. And um, they take nice little photos. They're really, it, it's a really good thing to do with your dog if you're looking for something to do with them, you know. Um, but yeah, I definitely suggest uh, PetSmart's um, training classes. You can, if you have a PetSmart in your area, uh, just go by, talk to them. They'll give you a pamphlet. Um, if you're not going to do that, um, I'd recommend just going to a lot of. Uh, Places where dogs can, you know, just run around. That way they get more experience with other dogs and people. And, um, yeah, because, I mean, it just it just helps them calm down. You know, there, I read in some book that you're supposed to have your dog meet 100 people or 100 dogs by the time they're, you know, three months old or something. Uh, which, you know, we didn't quite get to, but we got a lot of those. And uh, it seems to work out, you know, like um, Keisha... Keisha really didn't get that same experience because she was, uh, uh, we found her at Paws, um, and she had, was already a year old, and from what we understand, she basically, uh, was isolated. <laughs> she spent, uh, six, no, what was it, it was eight months of that 
in the in basically a cage. So she wasn't fully socialized. So she's still a little squeamish around dogs, um, and she's kind of paranoid too. So um, I think that there's definitely a difference. You should definitely try to socialize your dogs. Which if you've read any books on it, they, I'm just echoing that. But I mean, you know, you can kind of see case by case. Um, anything else? Um, there's a few, you can find other local classes. Uh, the advantage of uh, PetSmart is that their classes are usually have more people than other local ones. Um, at least around my area. Um, we, we went around looking for them. And, you know, we'd be lucky if we found three to four dogs. Uh, meanwhile, PetSmart, there were like eight people there with, you know, 12 dogs or something. And, you know, the more dogs, the better it is for their socialization. So that's kind of why we ended up landing there. Also, the private classes, while they, you might actually learn more, they usually cost more, which was surprising because I always, I thought PetSmart would, or, yeah, PetSmart. Uh, was a little bit expensive uh, when I first saw it, but it really it really is relatively competitive. You know, it's a competitive price. Anyway, um, that's it. I know this is probably a really boring video, and you got the whole gist of it in the first five minutes, or so. I don't know how long this is. Anyway, subscribe, comment, rate. Have a great day. Bye.